In this video, we'll explore the new features and improvements in Logic Pro 11.2.2. Starting with stability and reliability, several issues have been resolved. For instance, Logic Pro no longer quits unexpectedly when opening the surround panel on a track in which the first plug-in insert slot is empty. Additionally, there was an issue where text and chords in the score could be missing after opening a saved project, which has now been fixed. Another fix addresses Logic Pro quitting unexpectedly when undoing the creation of a fader. Compatibility with projects created in previous versions of Logic has also been improved. This is good for those of us that are going to open up older sessions in Logic. Moreover, an issue where setting an environment fader object to text style in the inspector could cause Logic to quit unexpectedly has been resolved. It is nice to see that the Logic Pro team is still updating the environment. Moving on to plugins, newly installed Yordio Unit plugins are now available in Logic Pro as expected. Audio unit plugins that were disabled in the plugin manager now appear as expected after a full audio unit reset has been performed. For control surfaces and MIDI controllers, learned controller assignments for insert bypass are now reliably assigned to the correct plugin insert. Learning a new assignment for a control now replaces an existing assignment rather than causing it to no longer be shown. In terms of automation, Bypass state is now shown in the correct automation lane of software instrument tracks. For more detailed information on all features in Logic Pro, go ahead and click the link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.